Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, it's September 1st, so I get to share with you what's in the brand new Spellbinders card kit of the month. This month's collab kit is called Together is the Best. And this is one of those kits that has a little bit of everything. I love those kind of kits because, um, just because cards are always so nice. And so that's what's, what's special about this kit. You get a double-sided sheet of mirror cardstock, two shades of blue. You get eight sheets of colored cardstock in total, and then your specialty gold mirror cardstock. But you get a pink, and then you get a very, very soft yellow, an orange, a gray black, and then also an off-white or a vanilla. All these are eight and a half by 11. You get 10 card bases and 10 envelopes. Um, card bases are side folding. They're A2 with a little bit of texture. And then you also get a V-flap envelope to hold your A2 size cards. I love that they include them in the kit. I just think it's really nice. Um, I'm, usually I do this first, show you the content sheet, but um, we're gonna do this after the card stock. We're just diving right in, aren't we? But these are the three projects that you can create, a little inspirational guide along with the contents. The very first phone card um, on the front, on the back side shows you how to create it. So that makes it really nice. Kind of like a recipe card, I always say. Next, we're going to take a look at our 6x6 paper pad. These are um, just regular pieces of pattern paper. Um, I would say they're just paper weight, but they're beautiful patterns. And you get two tones and prints, and some of them have gold foiling on there, which is nice. You get 40 sheets in total, and then you get two of each pattern. So lots of pattern paper, and it's a full-size pad too, guys, which is nice. You can see there's gold accent on that pattern. Some florals, some wood grains, which I always love. Those are some pretty frames. This is a little damask print, which is nice. And that's really pretty. And then again, it just repeats itself. So that's your six by six. Together is the best paper pad. I store my paper pads with the packaging. I just cut off the top. That way I can store them easily. And if I lose it, I'll just use the Ziploc baggie to store my 6x6 paper pads in there. <laughs> this is your little babushka doll stamp set, which I think I'm super excited about. I think it's so cute. You get some fun sentiments in there. And the um, they're all, the babushka dolls are also called matryoshka, matryoshka dolls. I hope I'm saying that right. But they're the wooden dolls that stack inside each other. I just think they're so cute. Um, you get some puffy stickers and these are so soft and you just peel them and stick them. They're moldable, which is nice. And then you can create lots of customized sentiments with those. Next, we're going to take a look at some gold stickers. Now these are super shiny gold stickers and they're large scripty sentiments um, with a whole bunch of um, gold hearts filling in those open areas. I like that they use the extra areas for smaller, um, like little hearts. I just think that's so nice. These are just, you can see how shiny they are, but these are, I want to say they're all scripty, but there's just a few block letters in there like home and day, but that is in the kit. And then there are these frames, these frames, you get 12 of them. And I'm not sure if they're adhesive backed. We're going to take a look, but there are a few of them have some gold accent on there. And I'm excited. But I love frames on my cards. You guys should know that by now. Um, I'm going to grab my tool in one and see if they're adhesive backed. Sometimes I forget to do this and try to glue them down. It don't work with that release paper. But yeah, they're adhesive backed. So you just peel and stick. So how nice is that? So you get 12 of them in different shapes and sizes and varieties. Some of them are circles and some of them are playful. You get some like film strip frames. And so I'm looking, they're chipboard. So a lot of those, I'll put those back in the package and then take a look at our chipboard stickers. You get two sheets of your uh, chipboard stickers and some of these have gold accents as well. A lot of sentiments, but there's a lot of buildable uh, elements in here. So you get those stickers too. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at our die cut pack. 
I always like to show you guys the die pack up. You can always skip forward if you don't want to see it all. But I'm excited to see what's in. This is the first time I get to see all the uh, die cuts that are in the kit. So I get to share them with you. I speed up the video quite a bit to go through them because there is so much. Um, and this month there is two of each. So that makes it really nice. I love that little kitchen aid there. <laughs> you get some little speech bubbles, some tags. And um, I always like die cuts with my 10 cards. I just think it makes for some nice cards. And I like too that everything coordinates. All your stickers and pattern papers and your card stock. So, and I like that there's extra sentiments in here too. So this is one, again, one of those kits that are, have a little bit of everything. Now, if you're new and want to know more about the Spellbinders card kit of the month, um, I'll list it down below. Um, but I think it's a great value guys for everything that you get. And then if you guys um, already subscribed to a kit and are interested in this, they have actually different kit options too. I'll list below. But those are your die cuts, two of each, and lots and lots and lots you saw there. <laughs> now you always get a double-sided roll of adhesive tape, and then you also get some foam tape, and then you get your die set. This month there's 14 dies, and I am in love with the dies this month. Um, I just think... So you get all that in the kit and then you get dies too. I just love this. This month's die set, it, you get two sentiments and then it creates this cute, adorable phone. Um, I love old fashioned, I'm gonna call these old fashioned phones, but they're really not that old. <laughs> but um, I love these kind of phones. Um, I actually love any kind of phone. I probably, if, if I have a theme or no, I wouldn't say a theme. I don't have phones all over my house. But um, if I have a favorite, I would say it's old-fashioned phones. We have one of the wall-hanging ones, but I don't have a home for it yet. And we also have one of these. I have this on my coffee table. Um, my husband got this um, It's from an antique store. And so I have a little bit of thing for a phone. So I was super excited about this. So you guys see a little bit of my living room there. <laughs> but... I wanted to show you how cute and how fun this fun is. So I went ahead and die cut everything out, <coughs> excuse me, into including both the sentiments. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right. So um, I would refer to the Spellbinders kit unboxing where they put together the phone for accurate um, purposes, but I'm just gonna put it together the way I think it should go together in my eyes. <laughs> so we're starting off by adding the little um, ear pieces, the the receiver pieces on the telephone, the handle part. And these are have embossed detail, which is really nice. They're the piece that on that magnetic mat that kind of look like looks like those eyebrows. And these have embossed detail too, which is really nice. So there's little vertical lines on there. Okay, next let's let's take a look at our sentiment. There's two sentiments. Um, in the die set, you would, and they're inserts. So you have the rectangle and then you have the insert that you can add either um, phone home or hello you. For my card today, I'm gonna use the hello you. We're gonna adhere that to our gray card stock. And then we have a sentiment. You don't have to use the rectangle backing if you don't want to. This will fit directly on your phone base if you want. Um, there's also this one here that says phone home. So. I wanted to show you what it looked like because it's it's really cute. I'm going to add a little dimension. So I just put a piece of foam tape behind my sentiment and then this layers perfectly on the base of the phone here. So that's good to go. It's so easy to put together. It's really not that that tough. There is a emboss and the uh, phone itself has embossed detail. So you kind of know where to put things. This is the strip that I die cut out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that just above the sentiment. Lovely. Okay. Now we just have a few pieces left. We're going to go ahead and attach the cord to the base of the phone. And I'm going to put the, there's a circle at the very end, which makes it very easy for attaching. And I'm going to attaching it to the back of the phone on, on both of these I did on the top. Um, headset area and then also the base of the phone but I just love the way this looks okay 
Next, we're coming along. Now, the picture on the brushers shows that the little headrest on the base is on the outside of the phone, but I'm gonna put my phone um, piece on top of it. I just kind of like the way this looks a little bit better. So I attached that, it's coming along so nice. Now we have our little dial. The dial, um, there's the inside piece punches out and then each of the, the number pieces punch out too. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece before I punch out those little pieces, take a pencil and just draw around it on some black cardstock. I'm gonna actually glue my phone piece um, on some black cardstock so my little number pieces um, are black. One more here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my scissors and trim out my oval. You could, I suppose, do this, glue down your dial first and then just scissor around it. But either way, doesn't, either way you prefer. <laughs> Let's tape this down to our black card stock so it stands out and our dial is good to go. Now there is a, a this piece here, there's an option. There is a little embossed detail um, that you can add to the center of your dial. And then there's these little oval pieces. You get a small one and a large one. Now this is where I'm not sure where they go, but the oval, the shape of those, um, coordinate with the shape of your dial so you could put them on your phone for little accent pieces and speaking of accent pieces I'm going and adding that little piece where the finger stopper when you dial there's they added that which I, it does make a big difference it's kind of hard to see it maybe in the close-ups you could see but actually there's no close-ups because I'm just doing the unboxing um, maybe during um, on my blog when I create my project with the phone, there'll be a close up where you can see that little finger stopper. But I'm not gonna use the oval that I die cut out. There's an insert with embossed detail I was mentioning that you can add, um, but I'm just gonna leave it black. I like it better. So next, um, I did die cut out black feet for my phone, but ended up die cutting out some ivory um, cardstock or off-white cardstock for the feet. I think it's gonna stand, back, um, stand out a little bit more. Okay, that's the piece I was talking about. This little triangle piece, I'm assuming, goes underneath your dial piece, just to make it look more realistic. You can put it there on top or, or underneath your dial. I'm not gonna do that. Um, sometimes I don't like to fiddle with the teeny tiny pieces, but, but it's there. And again, I would refer to the Spellbinders unboxing. They'll tell you how, where to put that. Um, you could probably put it at the end of the cord too, if you wanted to. And then I have, I could, I cut out a couple more of those curved pieces that I mentioned, kind of follow the curve of the dial. But these I think could be used too, to give your phone a little, um, a little motion action, almost like it's ringing. So that's an option with those little pieces too. Now I'm going to, I'm finished up with the card kit. That's it. And this is what your, your dies create, but I am going to go ahead and take one of my finger daubers that have vintage photo on it. And I'm just going to do a little bit of shading on my phone. Give me a little bit of a vintage look. And that will be used on one of my 10 cards that I'm going to create following this video. So, um, if you want to head on over to that video, I'll link it at the end. Just click on my um, my bottom video and it'll take you right over there. But this is the Spellbinders card kit of the month for September 2021. It's called Together is the Best. And again, this is one of those kits that have a little bit of everything in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, take my Spellbinders uh, glaze and glue. This is like a uh, journey glaze or glossy accents, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my phone. Um, this way it gives it time to dry. So when I do create my 10 cards, it'll be nice and set and I don't have to worry about it smearing or it being foggy in my pictures too. <laughs> but that is the card kit of the month for September over at Spellbinders. I hope you get a chance to check it out. Again, following this video is my 10 cards. I hope you guys get a chance to check that out as well. Thanks for joining me guys. Have a fabulous day. We will see you again real soon.